Hello, 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 and welcome back. My name is Zeep, and you're watching Zeep Nation, and today we're playing another free game, Six Cats Under. Now, very cute, uh, it looks like a wholesome poltergeist video. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, how clumsy of me. Reading is more dangerous than I thought. It, it is, it is, you can unlock whole worlds with that. Oh no, what about my precious kitties? Stuck in this apartment, how will they survive? I must get to the front door open so they can run free. In my favorite horror stories, ghosts can communicate by influencing their environment. Let me see if there's anything in the room that can help. Now, on the plus side, my body's right, nope. Body's right there, right? So, so the adorable thing with cats is that they'll see you and instinctively start licking you. Um, but the thing is, their tongue is like sandpaper. So eventually they'll break their skin. And then once they 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 get to the nice gooey delicious bits, their uh, animal instincts just kind of take over and then they just eat you. Like they don't mean to do it, but... Oh. Uh... Or arrows to move the screen. Wonderful. Alright. Oh. Cute. That's Frederick. He's a very sleepy boy. Usually I can only get his attention if there's tasty food involved. Interesting. It's empty and too heavy for me to move. Oh. Okay, I can turn on the stove. It won't budge. Oh, hello there, Mr. Spock. He's usually quite shy, but catnip turns him into a bit of a rascal. Last week, he tore up my new curtains. Okay. This might be catnip up here. Ah, Barons. She sure does like the TV, especially when I'm watching the bacon shows. A legally safe SpongeBob. Never would have kept all of these heavy books if I know if I know that how dangerous they were. I bought a catnip. Some of my cats really go wild for it. Can I knock this over? Okay, I can turn on the fan. Oh. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, the remote was in... Okay, lions. Okay, so cooking shows is the way to go. She's so concentrated, it's like the rest of the world doesn't even exist. So cute. My taste in decorations was impeccable till the very end. I just let it fly in. Family photos, what precious memories. I do hope my sweet babies find a new home now that I'm gone. It's just all cats. It's all cats. Hanyo and Clarcy. Clancy. They both love it in the hammock. I don't blame them. It looks very cozy. Oh, we'll one up. This is Jeffrey. He's such a clever boy, but easily spooked. That might make him the easiest cat to influence. That's Pumpkin. I wish he would try to get along with the other kitties. But there's just no taming that little mi missy. My ghost powers don't seem to be strong enough to open doors. Well, there's a broom right here. If I can knock that open. There's cats in here. It's Sniffles. He likes chilling in the bathroom. I wish I could give him a cuddle. Rose-scented kitty litter smells more like old candy floss, but the kitties like it. Shampoo for me, shampoo for the kitties. Ghosts don't show in the mirrors, the more you know. 
Yes, yes, play with the toilet paper. I don't know why I did that. Deborah is probably looking for leftover treats from her last trip to the vet. Rufus, what a cutie. He has the softest fur. It's more than I have enough litter boxes. Nobody wants to queue. Oh, oh. Run, boy, run. Okay. Okay, I got some yarn. Yes, yes. You're Jeffrey, right? Go, Jeffrey, go. Oh. What can I do to spook that cat? Oh. Oh wait, was that fish food? What do I need to do here? This tin of beans is a heavy one. I can't move it. Is this what they mean by Superfood. There's no way I have enough power to open these heavy drawers. Okay. You. What about you? Hello there, Mr. Spock. Yeah, he did that to the couch. Or to the chair. The sofa was too big for me to move, even back when I was alive. Now you're down. I squeak that and you go up. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. What else is there? To, there's a light here. It's like Edgar is having a snooze. His favorite nap time are mid-afternoon. Early afternoon, late afternoon, and mid-evening. He sleeps most of the night, too. Ah, I think that's Pickle in there. She's a very fussy eater. Outside, life goes on. All I will take for my neighbors to realize I'm gone. Yikes. Any of these pictures do anything? That line, I feel like that's gonna spook someone. We don't need the oven on still. So I need to make food for the for that cat, right? Wait. It's, it's too stiff. I don't have enough strength to open it. This is a job for someone who is still in the land of the living. The only way out, only if my poltergeist power is strong enough, right? What haven't I done? What did that bug do? Oh. Wait, there's a bird. Alright, so go to the squeaky toy. Does that do anything? Yeah. Uh -huh. The 
Alright, go back up. Oh. Oh, okay. Now you're by the fish. Oh, oh dear. Poor Goldie. You, you react with food. Yes, yes. The beans! <laughs> Wonderful. Well, that was, that was six cats under. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, shorter video today, but you know, so be it. Uh, this game is free uh, at itch.io. Um, and if you want to give me money so I can buy games that actually cost money, um, I do have a Patreon that is also down below in the description. Thank you all so much for watching up to this point, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.